Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can merge two separate tables into one using the Power Query Editor. So what I'm going to do is get some data from an Excel file, first of all. Get that into the Power Query window. So I'm going for Sales Details. That will open up the window and I want these reseller sales figures so you've got the option here of load it straight into excel or transform the data so i want to transform the data first which will open the power query window and then it will list all that data so some of the columns i need to have a little tweak on so this one for example color has got a null i don't want that to have null in there so i'm going to transform and I'm going to change that data so it's um, going to say NA. So I'll click on replace values, ask me to type in what I'm looking for, so null, and then NA. I want it to be NA, and then I click OK to that and it should do it. So it's put NA there instead of null. So it's coming across some of these need formatting as well. Quanta, order quantity, that's OK. Date is not formatted, so I need to click on this little button, select date. So that will format that to date. Price is not set to currency, so I'll set that to currency. Um, unit price discount. Now that's probably a percent. And then sales amount is currency. Now what I want to put in here, our total amount is also currency. What I want to put in here or to combine or merge, if you like, is a country code table. So I've got these countries here. The, it's called territory in this table. I've got these, but I've got another table which I'm going to bring in um, so I can get the code, the country code that's going to represent each of these countries. And then I'll load that data, combine data into back into Excel. So over on the right there, you've got new data source. And I'm going to go for file Excel because it's an Excel file. It's called country code. Open that and that will open country code. And then I select it. That's all it is. Notice it hasn't got any titles. Click OK to that. Well, good news is I can fix that. So that should load up. And then what you have to do is just click on this little button here and then select use the first row as headers and then they will become the columns. So that's the title for each of these columns. So this is the code. This is the column that I want to be in the other table. So what you've got to do is go back onto that one. And this is the tool or the icon I need, merge queries. I need to merge these two queries together. So that's the first one. And I now need to select the codes, country codes. And then what you have to do is tell the computer which fields are linked. So this one's called territory, that one is called code. But you want the code, you can't link it like that, you want the country. So that's, even though that says territory, it's not related to that, it's the country that's related to that. And then you've got options here with different join types. It default is all the records in the first table, which I want, and then only the matching ones from the second table, which is the one I want. And then you click OK to that. And it adds that table at the end there, which you have to tweak a little bit with the filter options because I don't want all of those. So tick that off and you just want the code and then click OK and then that'll show you the country code. So that's done it there. Anything you do wrong, you can just delete off from this steps. Now, if I pull that across closer to where the actual country column is, a bit closer than that, so it's sitting next to it. So there's a country like so now it's sitting next to it you're ready now to save and load this back into excel so you've combined two tables using the power query editor like this so then i'm going to go save and close and it drops it back into excel loads up the data there's the table it's brought that table down but this table the reseller sales table is the one that has the combined column so there's the country code 
and there's a territory it's got it there so it's it's done both so that's all i want to talk about on this little video how you can use the power query editor to modify data and in this case pull data from a second table to merge it into one so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you next one